Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So given this straight line here, find out the equation for this straight line. So um, re remember, in, in the previous video, I, I, gave you, um, I gave you some practice, but all the ones that I gave you, they, they were all positive gradient. What that means is uh, you've got a straight line like this, and with a straight line, we always travel from left to, uh, to the right. So you, you, travel, you start from the left, and you, you, would you would follow the line to the right. So here you notice we're going uphill. So if, if you're going uphill, then that's a positive gradient. But in, in this video, I'm going to give you negative gradients. So, so if, if you have a line going like this, remember we always travel from left to right. Okay, so always travel from, from left to, to right. So that means you start from the left and follow the line, but the line leads you downhill. You see that? You're going downhill. Um, with this line here, you start, you always start from the left and go to the right. Well, you start from the left and you go to the right and follow the line. Here you're going uphill. So that's a positive gradient. With this top line here, you start from the left. You always start from the left, and you go to the right. Okay. So, so you, if you follow the line, you're actually going downhill. So going downhill will, will be a negative gradient. Going uphill will be a positive gradient. Okay. So, so I will do the first one, and then you, you guys can do the ones after. So, ha so what is the equation for this this straight line here? So start with y equals m x plus c okay now c is uh, is a 3 okay so so it will be m x plus uh, plus 3 because the intercept is 3 now we've got to find out the gradient the gradient well the, well find any triangle any neat triangle here so we, we're going to use this one that we could use this one if we wanted to or we could use uh, we could use this massive one if we wanted to uh, it will all give us the same answer. Uh, I'm just going to use this 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 one here. Now the gradient is always the up and down, okay, divided by it's always the up and down first, divided by the across. Well, the up and down here is two. Now the the across here, the the width here would be would be three. So the gradient is always two. Uh, it's always the up and down divided by the 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 across. Okay, so the up and down is two. The across here is three, so the gradient is is um, is is two over three. But because this is a negative gradient, it's going downhill. Remember, it's it's left, it's from left to right. So here you can see it's going downhill. So so this will be a negative gradient. So we would stick a negative in here. Okay, H had it been like this, then here uh, left to right is going uphill. You can see that it's going uphill here. Then this will be a this here would be a um, a, a positive gradient, but but our line's going downhill, and it's always left to right. So so we have so work work out the uh, the gradient, which is the up and down divided by the width here, uh, and then and then stick a minus in front of it because you're you're going downhill. So start again. So given this line here, start with y equals m x plus c. Okay, now we we know c is three, so let's stick that into the uh, plus three here. Okay, why? So, so now the, the gradient, well, the gradient here, let's, let's just, just use this triangle here. It's always the up and down, always the up and down first, okay? Up and down first. So, so that would be, um, two divided by three, because the, the width here is three, the up and down here, the vertical is, it, the height is, is two. So, um, so m equals that, but the thing is, it's going downhill, so so this thing here is a negative gradient. So let's just stick a minus in there, okay? And and the way you write this, you, you could write it as as minus two over three, or you can stuff it in into the fraction. So it could be like this: minus two over three, okay? Well, anyway, this is our this is our our, our m there. So it it would be uh, minus minus two over three x plus Three, uh, so so we could stop here. This this could be our final answer, but let's tidy this up first. Let's tidy this this up. Here you've got a minus plus the uh, plus. Well, you've you've got a bubble here, but the thing is you've got a minus and a plus here. So re remember, if if you have something like um, like minus three plus five, um, well, Im imagine this is a bubble here. This is a bubble here. Stuff the uh, the minus into the uh, into the three here, okay. So so that that minus is in that bubble, okay. So so in in here you've got minus three, minus three, 
Okay. Uh, now, now is uh, now. Now you can just switch these two over. So it would be five, uh, five inside a bubble plus plus um, plus minus three. Now take the minus out of the bubble now. So so it will be five here and then minus uh, minus three. So so in, instead of you having um, minus three plus five, then rewrite as five. Um, five minus three, because look, look, you've got one symbol here, two symbols, three, four. Here you've got one, two, three. This one here is much neater. So, so, so if when possible, um, switch them over. Uh, and, and remember, if if you have five minus three, you can't just switch switch three. You you can't do that because what what it is is this. Hang on, you've got this at the moment. You've got to stuff this minus into the three here. Into the three, so so visualize it as that, okay, and then you can switch switch them over. So it would be like this: uh, minus three, and then uh, and then plus uh, plus um, plus five here, okay. So so now you can take the minus out here. So uh, well, it, it would it would be that, or or you can leave the minus in there. It doesn't matter. But either way, it would be minus three plus five over here. Well. Remember to to stuff the, uh, the the minus inside the bubble. Well, anyway, let's let's go back to here. You've got a minus and then that positive thing. So hang on, let's let's tidy it. Let's tidy this up. So it will be y equals. Uh, well, this, get this x here times it to uh, to the top. So it's it's uh, minus two x over three. Okay, plus three. Now. Now, um, so, so, so in effect, you've got this thing here, but the things you've got minus is, so stuff the minus into that bubble. So, so it's like this. Okay. And then plus this. Now, now you can switch them over. So, so it's like this. Three plus, uh, plus, uh, plus minus two X over three. And then, and now you can just take, uh, take the minus out here. Okay. So, so it would be this. Get rid of this. So this will be your final equation, okay? So hang on, let, let me just do this again, so so you can see. So start with y equals m x plus c, okay? Now you know c is um, c would be this uh, plus three. Now the gradient, the gradient is is minus uh, two over three, and then you've got your x plus three. Okay. Now look at this. You got a minus number plus a positive number. So so switch switch these two around. Switch these two around. So the positive. So the three get. Well, it would be neater. So 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 switch switch them around. So it would be three uh, minus two uh, x over three. Okay. So this 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 answer here looks a lot better than uh, better than this one here because you've you've got this minus in front. It looks awkward. Okay, so um, so now turn uh, turn this into a fraction. So it'd be three over one minus two uh, x over three. Now times top and bottom here by three, because in order for you to add fractions, the two denominators need to be the same. So these two together would be nine, and then the this time one three times one would be three, and then now you can see oh, you got a minus here. Now you can see the two denominators are the same, so you can just merge. Okay, uh, so nine minus two x. So this is your 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 equation for that line. Okay, but uh, normally you, you you can just leave us this. This is still good enough. Sometimes, well, sometimes it's needed to tie tidy up. Okay. Um. Yeah. In the next video, you 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 um you can have a go for yourself. Okay, because this video has been going on for a while.